Hello producers, it's Özgün here and welcome to the channel. So FS Studio 25 is finally here. It was on the beta for a very long time, but now we got the update and it's free as usual. So thanks to ImageLine team for bringing us lifetime free updates. So I personally very appreciate them. So in this tutorial, I'd like to show you a couple of the new features that I think is a game changer. And if you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. So guys, before we start to the video, let me pick the winners of Temple Or. We will pick three people to give one month pro subscription so i paste the link in here and we will not include replies no duplicates anything goes let's go pick the first winner we got 23 comments on the video ai will ruin all creativity someday he commented that but he won this so congrats bro you win with this comment ai will ruin the creativity someday we will see if it's gonna happen or not but you win one month pro subscription let's pick the second winner zamrik congrats brother you are the second winner of the temple of pro membership and the third winner pavlich congrats again so you can just reach me on instagram or email i will send you the subscription promo codes and yeah let's start the video now so first of all now we start with limited mixer channels when you click plus icon you get new channels so i think it's not unlimited but we can extend this to at least 500 mixer tracks so we had 125 now we got more than 500 so i think if you are mixing you know orchestral stuff or you are requiring many mixer tracks now you get it so first Personally, I want more effect slots in here. 10 slots is not enough for me. So when I process my sounds, 10 channel is not enough. I usually just route the channel to the next. If I need, I route it to the next. And then I just direct it to the master. So this is just a workaround. So I don't know, maybe it's a little bit more intense on the CPU when I do this workaround. Or maybe you can just, you know, use nine of the slots and then add a patcher in the slot 10. And inside of the patcher, you can do unlimited processing, I know. Of. But still, it's it's just slowing me down when I, you know, produce my tracks. So I wish in the next updates we can get some more epic slots. But yeah, for most of you guys, I'm gonna love this more mixer channel update. So other than that, now we got the loop starter and you just click here and it gives you, you know, three channels from FL Cloud. And let's play how it sounds. Currently, it's in the genre of EDM. So that can sparkle your inspiration. So for example, let's change the FX one. I can click dice and it gives me a new sound from FL Cloud. And now we got some idea. Maybe we can get some inspiration from this one and maybe we can change the drums. Okay, I'm gonna just fasten my BPM and I'm gonna go to the techno this time. Um, they say there will be more genres gonna be added in the future updates. When I switch to techno, let's see what it gives us. Let's change everything. I don't like this one. I like the vocal step. Let's keep it. I'm going to right click and choose lock and then I'm going to change the drums. Also the tops, I don't like it. Let's mute it for now. Maybe we can get this rumble and let's change the top. I don't know if I can clone this. Yeah, now I can just roll another sound to this. Nice, let's clone the vocal step and let's get something else for this one. It sounds nice. All I gotta do is just click this icon and it puts everything to the playlist. Now we can start producing.
So maybe I can keep the vocal step, maybe I can keep these bass shots, and I can put my own drum, own kick and bass, and I can start arranging it. So Splice was doing pretty similar thing. It was, it, it could generate the ideas based on the, you know, the library of Splice. But now we got this inside of the FS Studio. So the next feature is just uh, editing audio clips in playlists. For example, if I wanted to just um, put the first part, let's say one octave higher, I need to put it make unique right so then i could have just two different wave clips but now we don't need to do that let's chop it and let's alt click and then we got this clip properties screen and now for example i can put this one octave higher i can even make it reverse you know it's not gonna affect the rest of it I don't know, we can change something out of it. Again, Alt, uh, double click. And then maybe we can reverse it. And maybe this time we pitch it uh, plus one. Let's see how it's gonna sound. Even for example, I can activate the stretch and it's not gonna affect the other clips. I can stretch this one into the next clip. So with this workflow, you save tons of times instead of just chopping them, making them unique. You just alt click and you can change most of the properties individually of the same audio clip. When you double click to it and all the variations of the clip listed in here. So again, very nice update. So the next update is Gopher is a chat engine, AI chat engine and inside of FL Studio. So in the social media, I saw many people are against AI inside of the FL. But again, my take for AI is it's a tool that we can use to make music, you know. So don't hate it, just love it, just use it. It's here to help us guys. So how we can use this one? So instead of digging the FL Studio manual to find some answer or instead of just Googling or asking in Reddit forums, you can just ask Gopher and save tons of time. So I'm gonna write, for example, how to do de-sync to a vocal in FL Studio with stack plugins. And we are getting some answers, you know. It explaining what is de-sync and it just guide me how to do it with, with a compressor and also with using parametric EQ. Or maybe we can ask, can I do it with Fetcher? Let's see what it's gonna tell. Because I know there is a de already inside of the patcher. So apparently it doesn't know we already got a de-sync preset inside of the patcher in every versions of FL Studio, but instead it's advising us to how to do it step by step and create a patch that can de-s. So it's not bad, but I'm gonna ask this time a production related question. So I'm asking, I need a chord progression to write an EDM breakdown. I need it to be emotional, minor key. And we are getting the answers. We got couple of chord progression suggestions in here. So it's just like this, guys. You can ask tons of music production related stuff and it's gonna assist you. I think Gopher needs a little bit time to be perfect, but now I prefer to ask Gopher instead of digging the manual and search the answer I'm looking for. Again, we are trying to save time. We are trying to keep the flow state when we're producing. So whenever I have a question, I don't like to just stop pro producing in FL Studio, go to a manual or go to Google, try to find the answer and go back to it. It's just gonna kill my flow. But now I can get my answer without leaving the FL Studio, which is perfect. So also guys, for me, the best um, feature of FL Studio is uh, the emphasis and faces plugin. So this is kind of like a Fab Filter Pro L. It's a mastering limiter and it has several stages of, you know, clipping, limiting in the background and it can deliver you a very loud master. So how to use it, just put it on master. So in the bottom right, you see the LUFS value. In the um, middle, you see the gain reduction value. And in the left, you see the loudness. So you can choose different modes in here. For example, let's choose 
You can just change the envelopes of it, the hardness, the, you know, the knee of it. You can do this mid side or just left right as usual. So I'm going to put my output to 0 0.1, minus 0 0.1. And let's put it to 16 over sampling. It's going to sound better. You can add true peak, but I don't do that currently. And all you got to do is just push the gain until you get desired loudness. Currently the bass isn't side-chained, so let me just quickly side-chain this. Because without it, it's gonna clash with the kick and gonna be hard to get loud levels. You see, we are getting like minus seven LUFS value, which is perfect for EDM and Techno Masters. And let me just render this one. And this is how it looks, you know, a proper, perfect loudness. You can also do level matching with this one. Let's ask Goofer how to do it. Okay, now I get it. The level matching is just like the auto gain, you know? It's not for matching two tracks levels. It's for whenever you push the input gain, it's gonna reduce the output gain. So you will only hear the job, you know, the limiting, the maximization process of the emphasis plugin is doing. So let's try that. I'm gonna activate level matching in here. Ideally, when I push the input gain, it should reduce the output gain. So there shouldn't be any audible, you know, of the gain difference. So with this feature, you so with this feature, you don't confuse, you know, with the loudness. You can just focus what this plugin is doing to the music. And then with this, you don't overcompress it. So after 9 dB input gain, I start to hear overcompressing, so I'm gonna leave it at 9. And then you gotta just turn off level matching once you're done with it. Yeah, perfect update, perfect plugin, I like it. And one of the updates has a new melodic techno pack in Flex. Again, Flex is the nexus of FL Studio and it's free, you should check it out, guys. So maybe I can just cook a tutorial just using this sounds to make a melodic techno track. So I'm not gonna preview the sounds, you can check by yourself. It's worth, just download it, it's free. It has 150 melodic techno sounds and there are tons of new features already added, such as, you know, the Edison d -ver some quality of life improvements. You should check them out by yourself. But for me, those are the best updates coming with FL Studio 25. So please let me know which one was your favorite. And if you have some additions, please write on the comment section. Today that was it, guys. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.